What's your, what's your favorite kind of project so far? Ah, uh, the pools. The pools. Right? <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> yeah, they're pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> how I you... think that's my favorite thing to do. Yeah. How did the first one come to you? So I always I have I have this like list um, folder with and it's called Dream Project. So I have I have <laughs> really? a full list of that, and one of them is actually pools, and um, and then. I always wanted to paint a pool and then I did a lot of research about it and it's actually really hard because like the pool paint that you use for pools doesn't exist in any other colors other than red, black, white and that turquoise blue thing. Um, so I was like, damn it, like how can I make this work? So there, there must be a solution to this. And then and then this um, interior design company that from LA reached out to me that they have a client and they have a pool and that would be awesome. And I was like, oh my God, like, I do it for free even like I just want this pool and um this is my dream project and they were just like kind of shocked by my excitement because <laughs> they were just like oh okay um they were like kind of shocked <laughs> by why I was reacting that way and they um because I'm I have a lot of like people that reach out and I sent them my estimate and then never hear back from them because I think a lot of people don't understand how much work actually goes into something like that yeah. and um, the cost and labor. And it's like very, it's actually really hard labor. Like anyone who paints with me or paints with me or like friends that want to try, they're always just like, Oh my God, can I go home? I'm dying. Like it's, <laughs> it's really hard on your body and people just don't think about it. And, uh -huh. and so a lot of them, my estimates just like go unanswered. And um, so to not have that happen, I like shared my excitement right away with that <laughs> company because I was like, no, 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 I need this, whatever, like we can figure this out. And um, yeah, so they were super stoked about it. And then um, I think, I don't know really what happened, but I think that the actual house owner kind of was like, um, uh, I don't really know what happened, but they were kind of like not, they were just like, no, we need to pay, spend money on like other things. And mm -hmm. um, I don't think we can make this a priority or whatever it was. And I got super bummed about it. And um, then I was like, okay, I need this pool. I need a pool. Um, so I did like a 3D render and posted it on Instagram. I was like, really want to paint this pool. Like I need a pool basically. And then the the house owners saw that render and were like, holy shit, we want this. And I was like, okay, cool, thanks. Like, so I think it, they couldn't visualize it, I think, um, to make, uh, to do the choice, like this is like a priority kind of thing and for their house. Like they were just like, you know, they didn't know how it's going to work out and look. And then when they saw that render, they were just like, okay, cool, let's do it. And I was like, oh, thank God, like, thank you. Um, and then they were just like, yeah, so how does it go? Like, do you have to paint for this? And I was like, uh, because they were like, can it work with salt water? And I was like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know any of that. Like, <laughs> yes, um, it can. <laughs> How do know, I do that? I, I, but I'm, I was like, give me a couple of days. I figured this out. And then uh, it took me a while and I figured it out. And um, it works with chlorine and, and salt water and all this stuff. And um, yeah, and then, and then I have an intern actually here in Portland um, that helps me out a lot. And she's a trained painter and she's amazing and she actually came out with me to Palm Springs and we just painted the pool without really knowing what we were doing and it was like the coolest project it's like really fun I mean it's kind of painful after a while like everything really hurts because you're like in this weird positions inside mm. of a pool that is like curved obviously right. inside too um and you can't really step on the stuff that you already painted so it's like kind of like a labyrinth always just like a big puzzle where you step on and then new hours in like that pool that has like no airflow and right. then it's like super hot and the sun is like blasting so i think it, it sounds crazy <laughs> and it doesn't sound fun but it's actually really fun and it's um and then once you're done with the pool um and it looks amazing without water and then you don't know what the water will do to it once the water is in and then it's like transforms the pool again and like creates like a whole other dimension to it it's just like the coolest project that I've experienced. How many have you done so far? Uh, I've done that one, and then I um, am doing one in Palm Springs in February, and then one in Mexico in November. I think it's so, it's, it's so interesting because it's you know you're applying what you would assume to be kind of a two dimensional way of working, right? I mean, it is two dimensional, but then mm -hmm. applying it to a very three dimensional surface, and also in a very unexpected place. Like the idea of painting mm -hmm. a pool, as you said, they don't. There's not really that many pool colors out there. You don't see it happen that often. So, did you have to contact like 
the paint manufacturer and be like, can you make a custom thing for me? <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, <laughs> um, I contacted a lot of paint manufacturers. Um, and funny enough, in Australia, they have more colors mm. um, for pools, but also not really the colors I needed. Um, and so, yeah, I con contacted all the paint manufacturers I could and then found one that connected me with one paint person that was willing to do it with me. So, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. It took it took a lot of calls and convincing and no, it's going to work. Um, like it took a lot of that. So what other projects are in your book of dream projects? Oh, I mean, that one, like a lot of, I think, mural people have done that, but I just haven't. Is just facade, like a facade of like a big building. Like mm -hmm. maybe that brings me back to architecture again, but like um, that would be kind of really cool to see just like a, even just like a whole block of like houses. Um, and then it's like, obviously like all the traditional ones from, um, from like basketball courts and all these like sport courts or um, things like that to paint, um, like everything that you normally don't really have painted, I guess, uh, even though basketball courts are happening much more. And then, um, and then I really like, I, I don't know if you're familiar with my public sculptures, but the sculptures that, I placed in like the deserts and like my visuals. Um, it would be kind of amazing to be able to do like a kids playground with them. Mm. Um, so like the like kind of like a Alice in Wonderland kind of thing for kids um, is mm. another one. <laughs> um, then another project that I always wanted to do is like a like a, it sounds weird because that's kind of my like, probe up home thing, but like my my brand for my home furnishing but it would be cool to have like a proba house almost where it's like in the middle of the desert or something where you can visit and like everything every item is like made by me um from like the door handle to like the outside painted and um hopefully a pool or whatever it is from like the couch and everything the plate everything is like created by me and that's another one that i have in my books too 